brand new video and I have actually been wanting to make this specific video ever since I started this YouTube channel. So it's been a long time and I never really knew how to go about it, but now I do. So ever since I started this process, I have been getting a lot of hate from people who think that I fake play or that I'm copying somebody else's stuff. I just want you guys to know that I would never in my life do anything to deceive you guys. So I hope this video helps answer some of the questions that skeptics may have. And I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my loyal subscribers who don't listen to any of that because you should not listen to any of that because people just assume and just because they assume doesn't mean they're right. So real quickly, I just want to say that this is the process that I've been using for the longest time ever in almost every single one of my videos. The whole thing with the looping machine is something completely different. So I'm just going to stop talking now and without further ado, here is the video of how I make my videos. So to begin, I just go onto a new Word document and I type out all the lyrics to the song that I want to cover. And yeah, I usually just listen to music while doing this and you could never go wrong with coffee. You could always use a coffee break. I absolutely love coffee right now. I used to hate it, but now I love it. So while I'm typing all of the lyrics, I don't usually repeat like the chorus or anything. As you can see on my blog, I just shortcut everything so I don't have to type everything all out even though there is a such thing as copy and paste. So once I'm finished with that, I grab my favorite pair of headphones. These are the Meze 11 Deco headphones and they are absolutely wonderful. If you guys want to purchase them, I do have a coupon code for 20% off your purchase in the description box. So if you're in the market for some brand new headphones, then I highly, highly, highly recommend these ones by Meze. They are absolutely wonderful. I love them. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm using the microphone attached from these headphones. And I really like the quality. But anyways, as you can see, I am just plucking out the notes to the songs and I am writing down the note names corresponding to each syllable. So then I just go to an audio program. I usually use GarageBand, but I, it wasn't working on me for some reason, so I decided to go with Audacity. And I just import a karaoke soundtrack that I find on YouTube, and then I simply start to record, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So what you just heard is the raw audio from my camera, it's actually me playing, but I recorded also. So I just add a little bit of reverb, I usually add under 25%, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add 25%. So then I just export it onto my iTunes. And now we begin my favorite part, which is filming. I used this tripod that I got from Amazon a really long time ago. So it's pink and I absolutely love it. So that's just what it looks like. But hold on, you guys, this is awesome. Whoa, you guys probably thought it was a small tripod, but no, but wait, look at that, you guys. It expands, it's amazing, but wait, there's more. Holy cow, it's almost as big as the Eiffel Tower. I'm just kidding, it's totally not. So for the longest time ever, I was using my Canon digital camera and I really did like it. It gives off really good quality, but I am currently now using the Canon T3i, the one every single YouTuber has. And of course, we cannot forget about the clarinets. So I obviously am going to use my clarinet in every single one of my videos. So sometimes I will just act weird in front of the camera and just use that as footage to make the video look not so boring. Other times I will just play along with the track that I recorded previously. So once I have footage that I can work with, I import the audio onto iMovie and I try to line up the film audio and the recorded audio as best as I can like this. Sometimes it takes forever to line them up, other times it's as easy as pie, but anyways I just go on to the audio settings for the video part and I just mute that because that's the raw sound that I don't want you guys to hear because I want you guys to hear the good quality sound that I recorded. Mm -hmm. 
So that is normally what it sounds like and that is pretty much how I make my videos. Yay! So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped answer some of the questions that you guys may have had. Or if you're looking into making your own YouTube channel, this is how I make my videos and I hope this helps give you an idea of how you can make your own videos. Also, real quickly, I just wanted to say that this is not the footage that I'm going to be using for my next cover, which I'm sure you can guess what the song is based on what you just saw. I'm gonna try to make it look way cooler than what you saw in the video, so that was just a sample of how I make my videos. That's not the actual thing that I'm gonna be using to make my actual cover video, if you know what I'm saying. Also, don't forget there is a coupon code for 20% off your purchase when you buy a pair of Meze headphones. No, I am not making any sales from this. I'm just saying if you guys want a nice pair of headphones, then I definitely recommend them. Plus, you get them at a discounted rate. Well, that is everything that I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and my process, or if you guys have any questions, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you to all of my loyal subscribers who always stick by my side. I feel like we should have like a nickname. Like Ariana Grande has her Arianators. Bethany Moda has her Motivators. What should we call ourselves? Cause we're all a family. The Clonominators? I don't know. I have no idea you guys. Leave your suggestions down in the comments. Okay, I feel like I've spoken way too much. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys all so, so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Mwah! I present to you the musician tag created by yours truly.